Hello friends, this is Hasik and you are watching Codesalt YouTube channel. In this video, I will be share you how you can create the project in Java. I create library management portal from which you can manage a college library digitally. So, first of all, I want to show you the code, how I write the code. So, if I talk about the code, so I create the four packages one for controller and one for data type object and one for data transfer object and one for the utility packages so and in com.lib.properties i i create a text file for the jdbc property in which i define my j for connection the my database to java project so i define the properties uh, like URL, user, and the password for connecting the MySQL database. And if I talk about to the controller, so in the controller, I define the sublet parts in which our through the back pages, our request will be sent to the sublet page. And after sublet, will do something and provide the response to the user. So this is the basic structure of the program. And the project and in the D, DAO layers I define the interfaces and the implement of that interfaces in which I define to save the books and uh, different things and in the data transfer object I define the books and the librarians all the details and uh, data transfer object I create and uh, if I go into the web apps folder so in which i define the jsp pages one for index.jsp for the index page libmain.jsp and the, all the pages if you want to use my all code you can refer my the github profiles i upload the code there and now if i use the functionality of my library management portal so there is a two module one for the admin login and one for the librarian login in admin login admin can login and define the properties or login credential credentials to the librarian and uh, after the librarian can log into the library and manage the library so i already create the users for the librarian So now you can say welcome and my name it's come from the database dynamically name comes from the database because the library name is Hershey and this is the my current time and here is a logout option so eight types of the functionality it's provide add the student read student add book delete book issue book all books chat view and all student in the add student librarian can add the student into the library data suppose i add a student i define the course And the phone number and the a student ID so carefully define the student ID because no previously student is registered in the database otherwise it to throw an error or an exception now you can see record inserted successfully so my a student record insert into my library database and from here you can delete the student as well if I want to delete the student so simply record it delete successfully so in this way you can also delete the student you can add the book into the library data as well 
and you can delete that book by giving the book ID and here my all books detail will be here so now currently in my library database these are the book which is defined if I want to see the students in my library database so this is all are the student which is defined in the library database and from here you can issue the book to the student first of all write the book id so my book id is 1 and the student is 3002 not 00302 and the due date will be suppose i issue the book on 2 3 2 March and the due date is 9 March so after the due date first of all I issue the book now if I check the due on the student so simply enter the student ID and check due so this is the student and id and recently i issue the book compiler design which id of the book is one and it calculate the fine amount fine amount according to the due date after the due date per day five rupees will be the fine amount so currently it's 30 rupee and then student submit the book simply click on the return and the book written successfully so this is the functionality of my library management system and you also can create this is very simple I only perform the CRUD operation nothing else so when uh, you click on the logout you will be simply log out from the library database So if you, this video is helpful for you, please like.